hi guys welcome back to the channel it's your girl Kaden Campbell the diva wakwa welcome christmas greetings to you all oh my gosh it's christmas time and what better way to celebrate christmas than have the perfect perfect scrumptious christmas drink and if you're new here make sure you click the like button and subscribe to the channel and make sure you click the bell to be notified each and every time i post a video and ensure that you follow me on all my social media handles at in my home that's my food page and my personal page at katie campbell underscore katie campbell katie underscore campbell so without any further ado let's get straight into the video now today in today's video we're going to make sorrel now fresh sorrel is always better always better but unfortunately i did not get any and i was only able to purchase dried sorrel so what i'm doing here is washing the sorrel first i did add a little salt to the pan and i wash the sorrel cleanse the sorrel because no dirty sorrel run air no none of that okay then i'm going to transfer the sorrel into the pot that i'll be making the sorrel in now jamaicans like to say draw the sorrel but i think it's more of a steep <laughs> you're steeping the sorrel but for me some people cook um boil the water first and then add the sorrel but for me i boil the sorrel in the water and so i make it come to a boil and then i turn it off no i like to put some pimento seed in my style this is optional you don't have to if you don't want to but i like to put a few pimento seeds in my soil then i like to go ahead and add ginger now ginger is not optional ginger is needed <laughs> it is required now of course it is optional if you don't like ginger but i but most people when they're making style ginger is a must and lots of it um you don't want too much whereby it's too um strong and overpowers the sorrel but you want enough mm. to be in the sorrel now what i know notice with these ginger these days they're not as potent they're not as strong at all so what i like to do i like to beat so i clean of course my ginger like that's necessary that's a part of it so i clean my my, my ginger and i i mash it up with like a a cup just like just beat it a little bit pop it in there but of course that's still not going to make it strong so what i went in and did was um i grated some of the ginger so i beat some of the ginger i cut some of the ginger and i grate some of the ginger so it's all about the ginger <laughs> so i put that in there Okay, so after grating all that ginger in the syrup, I went ahead and I add some more water just to fill up the pot because I'm making two separate containers of syrup. So I stirred around, make sure everything is incorporated and, you know, everything bebbled on. <laughs> and then I leave it to boil. So I leave it uncovered for a few minutes until it starts boiling. And I allow it to boil for like, once it boils up, I allow it to boil for like five, six minutes. Then I turn it off and cover it with the, um, the lid. Now, I allow my style to stay for overnight. So I'll, this, this time it was like yesterday, like uh, the day, yeah, yesterday. So no, actually this was Friday because today is Saturday. This was Thursday night. Then I allow it to sit thursday and then saturday um friday evening i came home and i sweetened the soil now you allow it to cool down and rest for as long as you want i would suggest no more over than two days like one to two days um for sweetening it because you want to sweeten the soil right because that's how we get the scrumptious taste you know now to sweeten my soil, as you can see in the first portion of the video, I had sugar there and I had um, syrup, cherry syrup. Now, cherry syrup 
is not like a needed syrup per se or a required syrup any syrup of your choice i've used strawberry before i've used this is my first time trying cherry um i'm not sure about cola champagne but you know just use what you like it's about mixing and mingling and try what you like and what you won't like but i would say make sure it's a red syrup so strawberry or cherry because it's a red drink and you want to get the maximum flavor from it now so to sweeten mine so i'm doing two separate i'm doing one with alcohol and one without alcohol because my grandmother she does not like she does not drink or she can't drink alcohol right now so i have to make one separate for her so this is probably yeah the day when i was making the style now the next clip is the day after making the style so you see how it look well cooled on everything and it was there for like the entire night and day so i am sweetening it in the evening so i'm gonna get my big jug this i'm a cereal jug i'm a big strainer i'm gonna strain out the cereal make sure you strain the cereal because you don't want nothing in there and because i put all that in there you know you have to strain it properly so i strain it the smaller one is going to be the non-alcoholic one and the bigger one is going to be the one with the alcohol now this is pure based on taste and quantity that you have i probably use like one cup of one and a half cup of, sh of syrup for this container and it's fairly big and it's wide and i use probably like one and a half cup of sugar to be honest with you and um i stir this and i didn't use a lot of rum because I don't want to overpower it if i feel like i want more rum in it i'll put it in my cup if i when i decide to drink it but i don't want to overwhelm it with too much alcohol yes alcohol nice but i'm not a drinker like that per se so i didn't need or i didn't want a lot in it so as you can see i didn't add no water to it what brought it up to that height was the syrup and the sugar so i would say like just taste it's always easier to add but not to take away so add enough that you think and sweeten it and then stir it around and then taste it and see if you need more or if it's too too sweet you add a little water not too much though because you don't want to um weaken the the start so after that that's pretty much it i do the same thing with the other one i just don't add alcohol to the other one like i said um alcohol is always optional okay it's optional so i hope you guys found this recipe or this video helpful or informative make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel support your girl it's going to be a new year coming up so i really hope to see you guys supporting me more and subscribing to the channel more watching the videos in full because that's what gets your girl up and about on youtube so make sure you like comment subscribe and follow my um instagram and all that good stuff and follow my main page at kadeen underscore campbell on instagram and kadeen campbell on facebook tiktok kadeen campbell with three l's make sure you guys support me and thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys have a merry and jolly christmas a safe one keep warm keep safe and i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video take care Shit, man. I thought you wouldn't learn your lesson. Bow, like in pictures, not but time